Oh, yeah. Look at this. Oh, dude. <laughs> Brother George. What's up, Danny? My buddy George Lynch, he may be a car guy like myself, but first and foremost, he is one of Guitar World Magazine's top 100 guitar players of all time. This guy was an original member of the band Dokken and a founding member of his own band, Lynch Mob. This dude is a rock and roll icon, but today, cool rides are on the agenda. 65 Riviera, right? You got it, sir. Dude, 65. she's absolutely beautiful. You can't screw up a 65 Riviera. The Buick Riviera roared onto the muscle car scene in 1963 and was quickly named Motor Trend's Car of the Year. Two years later, Buick took it up several notches with the 1965 model. This Riviera was leaner and meaner with stacked hidden headlights and taillights integrated directly into the rear bumper. Its stock 325 horsepower Wildcat 401 cubic inch engine wasn't the most powerful engine on the road, but the 65 Riviera was still an almost perfect blend of performance and style. I've always been a huge fan of Riviera's, and George's is beautiful, and he gave us free reign, which is great, but kind of stressful. George looks like a laid-back guy, but trust me, he is a passionate perfectionist when it comes to music and his cars, so I'm really hoping that he digs what we come up with. The entire team is ready to rock. Well, where's that French dude? Oh, oh, uh, the Hungarian guy, oh, really? Yeah. Does he still work here? I'm not sure how much work he actually does, but he's here. I haven't been nervous about anything in about 20 or 30 years <laughs> until right now. My stomach is doing like flip flop butterflies right now. Nice. All right, all right, here we go. Rolly, come on, man, bring that beautiful baby up here. Oh, man. <laughs> Damn. Oh, oh, yeah. Slow and low. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh. As bad just floats in. Like on a big dark cloud. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna lose my mind. This Riviera was a looker when she rolled into Count's Customs, but we've made sure heads will spin when George rolls up in this baby. Now, we removed and rebuilt the engine, rebuilt the transmission, and installed an air conditioning system to keep her cool while she purrs down the road. Then Polly replaced the worn out wood inlays on the door panels and center console with a beautiful python snakeskin and built a custom kudu horn shifter that personifies the rock and roll cowboy look George was after. And finally, Ryan accented this Rivy's beautiful body lines with a satin black and charcoal two-tone paint scheme, split by a gloss black panel and snakeskin detail over some silver leafing that'll make this car look as good as she drives and sounds. What the hell is that? What the hell is that stick shift? It's a South African kudu horn. South African? Yep. It's a real horn. It's a real deal. What the hell? That's crazy. <laughs> Come check out this trunk, brother. So we did, was we continued the interior into the trunk. Yeah. So here we go. Oh, what the hell is ah, Louisiana insane? alligator. That's insane. You guys know me very well. This car is George Lynch's car. There, there is, there is no it's denying. Desert, it's gangster, it's lowrider, it's rock and roll. 100%. Exactly, it's exactly you. beyond anything I could have imagined. Woo! and sit in the yeah, driver's yeah. seat of this thing, because that's what I want to see. That's a rock star car right, right there, man. Dude, take your time, brother, man. You got time, right? Yeah, man, Two I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Bye, George. I think he's liking it. I think he likes it. I think he's gone. Man, I hope he comes back. He's playing with the band tonight.